Alright. This is my ride object profile. Um, <clears throat> currently Yazi's up a tree. I think we're about 12 feet up, maybe taller. And um, this is the only place I can record from right now. And everyone keeps bothering me to make a deck profile. And um, anyways, this is literally the strongest deck that I've made so far. Rainer, if you can fucking see, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yes, Rainer. Um, this is my Blitz Rainer deck. I've upgraded it to perfection, I think. And it's literally only because of one card. And because that one card, we changed the entire deck. So, without dropping anything, or without anyone walking past and seeing good old Yazi up a tree, let's get on it. We have our six very standard barrage and beatdown. Can never go wrong with barrage and beatdown. Literally runs the deck. We have four Awakening Bellows, two red, two yellow. The yellows are really good because it has the extra intim, um, and the reds are amazing in this deck. Like, even if you're just going intim and swing weapon, that's good enough. We have Blood Rush Bellows. Um, this will come up in certain matchups because you are mean in club now. Club is your main. Um, I'll get to that, and you'll probably see why. You can kind of tell, but... Blood Rush Bellows, you can use it in a Guardian matchup with Claws. Um, in any, like, really thick hero. Um, and to round off our non-attacks, bar one card. Two Sand Sketch Plan. Literally, one of the cards that also runs the fucking deck. Search out your eyes, search out anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, one Pulping, as far as the attacks go. Um, one Pulping in red. It can come up in Clutch. Um, but this one's cuttable for another card you will see. Um, I've been personally really liking it. Swinging six, have the dominate, the intim, and then swinging weapon. Insanely strong. Two, smash with big tree. Um, funny that, up a big tree, and I'll probably get down by smashing my head. Um, I, literally one of the strongest cards Brute has, Brut has right now. Cost two, swing seven. It always has that chip damage in, especially when you're going late game. Like, they need a, they really, well, you're never really going late game. This is like turn three win. But yeah, really strong. Two red pack hunt, and our two wrecker, blue wrecker romps. Um, blue wrecker romp, I don't need to explain why it's amazing. It's blue, it's six. Um, and two red smash instinct. You could change these out for reds, but prefer, personally, I prefer the little extra energy or resource. Um... But yeah, it's 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 okay as a filler. Um, when it's in red, it's not a filler. And it has the intim. Two alpha rampage. I don't need to explain it, but I will. You kill your opponent. You have so many like little alpha rampage packages in this deck, um, and you just always want to Im imitate swing with alpha rampage. <sighs> Two Massacre, it's Massacre, but these days you're probably using it more than, as an attack than discarding. Two Beast Within, make sure not to try and kill yourself. Um, every single every single skirmish I've ever been to, I've either burnt 7 or burnt 8. I can literally always almost die off it, but it's a free card. Um, and two Command and Conquer, still a great card. And our two flex spots, you can change these for whatever. Um, Pursuit of Knowledge, I like it. And Gorgonian Tome to make it a 39 card deck. Y if you're versing someone that you know they have Gorgonian Tome, this will just come down quicker and you'll, they'll be dead before they get to use it. And to round off the deck, we have five pummels, one red, two yellow, two blue. Now, I know it's very excessive, but with this build, with a certain card coming up, you'll understand why it's amazingly powerful.
and of course the big cheese reckless swim it's reckless swim I, <laughs> one of my mates got into top 8 only by using reckless swim shout out to you Welcome. All right, so my phone was dying up there, so I thought I'd, you know, just come here and do one of the typical YouTuber things and just uh, record it from here. All right. Uh, we're there. All right. So, for all you gremlins out there who just want to steal my deck, here's my fucking deck list, all right? So... Uh, as I was saying up in the tree, even though I looked at the footage and you guys couldn't see anything. Six blood rush. Uh, six barraging blood rush here. Yeah. I, I don't think I need to go over it. You can screen cap or whatever to see what, you know, whatever's missing. Or what you couldn't see. Sorry about the lighting. But, here's the deck list that I've been running. And I think this has the most potential out of every deck that I've made so far. Um, and I know it cut off to the equipment, but first off, before we get to the equipment, I'm going to explain a few combos. So to start off with, one of the most underrated cards is Awakening Bellows. You can go Awakening Bellows, smash with Big Tree, for 10 damage in Tim 1. So no matter what, they're always going to have to leak 1 damage through that. Uh, where did that come from? My hand. So, you've also got your Pact Hunt with your Awakening Bellows, which is literally just Alpha Rampage. Um, and Pulping. <laughs> yeah, as far as combos, like, if you know how to play Reiner, you know how to play Reiner. But I think those are two really neat ones that I want to point out with, like, these two. Also, a sand sketch plan. Of course, you can search out your eyes and all that. That's a, that's a standard one. But but with this build, we'll go on to the equipment. Okay. So the one card that this entire deck makes possible, going turn one and just taking damage, turn two, take damage, is literally because of Hope's Hood. I made a quick video of it before, and I'm telling you right now, Hope's Hood is definitely the card you want to play. The re... So, the current meta is, like, whoever can just kill the fir opponent first, uh, like, as quick as possible, f that, f that feels like what this what meta we're in right now, compared to, like, pseudo-control. This just makes it so that you're always going to find cards that you need, and get rid of cards you don't want. Skullcap, it's in here for certain, si uh, uh, certain matchups. I'll clean this up a bit. Uh, video. So yeah, Hope's Hood. Definitely the card you should be playing. Because what you do is, like, if you're uh, like lacking resources, or if you're lacking a card you really want, like an extra barraging so you can get an Intim 4 or whatever, you can always just crack this, search it out. Arknight Skullcap has only ever been amazing because how, how like, controlling our metas have been or, like, if you want to go into the late game. But this isn't a late game deck. This is, like, mid game at best. Because your mid game, early game's, like, turn one, turn two, turn three. And then you got your... So your early game is turn one, turn two, turn three. And you should be killing your opponent by that time. Bef like... By, by the time you get to late game. Mid game's like turn f 4, turn 5, and then turn 6 is like your extreme late game, your versus control decks. But because there are control decks out there like, let's say, um, OTK, Vis, or Bravo, or Dorinthia, you still need to kind of run the Arknight Skullcap to go into the late game. Um, Skullhorn, it's literally Skullhorn. Um, but along with the Skullhorn package, you got your Arcane Barrier 4 package for when you verse Wizard. Even though you are playing Reinar, um, if you verse an extremely smart player, they will know how to beat Brute. Um, 
Bark Broken Strapping is our only chest piece because it fills every single roll. Um, it's extra resource and it also has um, potential against a uh, wizard as well because you can crack this and then like use the resource for this for your arcane barriers. It's come up a few times for me. Um, Goliath Gauntlet. Um, I was running Braces of Belief for a while. But Goliath Gauntlet is just better than in this deck. Every single attack in here costs two or more. So it's always guaranteed for the plus two. Scab skins at scab skins. But this deck literally revolves around Romping Club. What you can do with Romping Club is literally swing four, have a bunch of cards in hand for late game. If you still have uh, Hope's Hood, you're threatening lethal every single turn. If you just have like one, uh, one card in hand and like Barkbone's still active, you threaten lethal every single turn. Cause if they don't have a defense reaction, they're just dead. And usually by that time, they've either blocked with their whole hand, so they're like trying to like mitigate your damage, or they're trying to take all your damage, which is what they should be doing. Um, and Mandible Claws. Only for your extreme control matchups, like Bravo, you need these and all that. This is when you want to go into late game, mid game. But this build is solely revolved around these two cards. Your Romping Club and your Hope's Hood. Um, I'll see if I can get a mate on so we can do a few play tests of this deck to show you act how it actually performs. Um, I know there's like minimal uh, videos of me playing games, so I'll like... For Blitz, this is literally the, the best creation I've ever made. It, like, period. Uh, we're in a current format where it's like, you can play control and you might lose, or you just play complete aggro. And this out aggro is the ag aggro decks. This stomps on, uh, uh, stomps on Ira, because Ira wants to go into the late game. That's what Ira wants, so you just completely stop them in their marks. But yeah, you know, pitch two, swing four, it literally wins you the game. But Sand Sketch playing, you can search out a card and play Romping Club. Uh, you know, search out your eye, Romping Club. You can go like Romping Club, chuck pummels over it. Like, literally, why this deck works. But it's not only because of the Romping Club, all your attacks are six attack. Uh, I mean, cost two or more. So every single attack in here. Uh, like, literally means lethal for your opponent. Um, I'll see if I can get one of my mates on for a match. He'll probably be up for the next video. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stealing my deck list. And please stop bullying me to bring out deck profiles. I'm trying. <laughs> Alright, peace, boys. See you later.